Alright, what's going on guys? It's Shev, and today, Multiverse has actually ended up releasing their official launch trailer for the game. Game is coming out in like a week or so, a little bit over a week, I think. So they're dropping a bunch of information left and right. I recently mentioned the leaks and stuff that people were talking about. The trailer is here, we're gonna find out what's real and what's not, and uh, yeah. I'm actually super excited for Multiverse as a comeback out. I'm not usually playing like platforming fighting games and stuff uh, consistently. I'm more of like a 2D, 3D kind of guy as opposed to, you know, platformer things like uh, Smash and stuff. But I had a ton of fun making my other videos on multiverses and stuff before. They're coming back from their big hiatus. Multiverses is back in the launch trailer. Stars Collide, Pies Fly is here. So if you're excited for multiverses, let me know down in the comment section and by leaving a like on this video. All right, let's watch this. Sh multiverses free to play. Warner Brothers. Okay, you can see some Animaniacs in the back. Jake and Bugs. Do you even have anything in them? Certainly, this one's about to have you face in it. They got this shit like a movie. Velma's here. They're actually using their attacks from the game. The exact attacks. Wanna see a magic trick? Okay, so Joker, we know that he was coming. They recently revealed him, so that looks like some kind of attack. You realize, of course. Here comes Bugs Bunny, my main. Although, I'm planning on changing it if the leaks are true. Other planets, Iron Giant. The classic. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Jake, I'm physically ill. Jake is so annoying. I'm sorry, if you play Jake... How could he do any damage to Iron Giant at all? Let's be honest. Resulting, and you're done. Wonder Woman's just watching this shit go down. He's fighting First some other check. versions of herself. I guess it is a multiverse. Oh wait, no, Great. not this one. Let's try. There's a lot of Easter eggs I'm noticing in the background and stuff. Like other characters that I haven't seen yet. These are the maps and stuff that he's running through. Where did everyone even come from? Surrender, Joker. You're outnumbered. <laughs> I usually work alone, but for you... The leaks are actually true. Dude, look, I'm sorry, I gotta pause it, I gotta pause it. I, I mean, hold on, there's 15 seconds left. I'm just, we'll, we'll just let it play out. Yeah, that's it, okay. Launching May 28th, we got a week. So we got the whole roster here, I think. Yep, boom. All right, this is the whole roster, right? Is there any extra surprise? No, that's everything. Okay. So a whole lot happened in that trailer. There was also like a lot of little like Easter eggs and things like that. Like there were, I saw in the background, there were references to Teen Titans and stuff like either Robin. Also, I ended up seeing like some purple symbol in here that looked like uh, something from Raven. Yeah, right here. You can see it right here. I, I think this is Raven stuff from Teen Titans. There's references all over this thing, but... The main thing, the big reveal, revealing two characters here. We got Jason Voorhees, yes, from Friday the 13th. And then we got Agent Smith from The Matrix. So, I mean, looking at Jason from this angle, it's not that bad, realistically. It's really not. Obviously, I mean, this design is going to be uh, kind of divisive. He doesn't look the way that I imagined that he would. I'm trying not to react too extreme because maybe it'll grow on me. But it just doesn't look like how I imagined he would look. Like, the mask is cool. Mask looks perfect. Don't get me wrong. Hair and Stuff like that like it's a stylized game don't get me wrong obviously characters can be exaggerated and stuff with their styles and everything but realistically looking at all the other characters who is built like this i don't think there's any other character in the game that is built like this and there's no other character in the game that had their style change like their actual proportions change to fit what they are if that makes sense also right here at the end you can see that he's actually summoning more characters there's one two more on this side and then it looks like two more as well on this side yeah this starts summoning right here and then you got another portal that's opening up on the side right there. I was expecting Jason to have more of a build closer to like Batman or Superman size. Maybe a little bit taller than them or something like that. A little bit taller. But I, why is he shaped like Kingpin? You're telling me he doesn't look like Kingpin? Somebody said he looks like Dr. Mundo from League of Legends. Someone said he's Wreck-It Ralph. Someone said Jason looks like Mr. Incredible. Is that Bane? Bro is built like a One Piece character. Okay, yeah, people are clowning. I tried my best, man. I don't know what to say. I mean, they got his machete there. It looks a little weird in my opinion, but whatever. Yeah, I was saying before this even came out, I, I, I main Bugs Bunny. And he was considered pretty strong at the time that I was playing it. 
him. Uh, but then he ended up getting some nerfs and stuff, but I wasn't playing that much by that point. So I figured I was just going to be playing more bugs when I got back. But then I heard about Jason coming back and being like my favorite horror icon. Definitely not because his name is the same as mine. But I also thought he was cool in Mortal Kombat. And they stayed pretty grounded in what he's supposed to look like. But this is, it's very exaggerated. I understand that he's kind of like a powerhouse, like in the movies and stuff. He's, he's very, very strong and like supernaturally powerful. But he's not built like this in any of the movies at all. Like it's actually not even close. I don't understand why he's so jacked and stylized and then everybody else is regularly portioned. Like realistically, LeBron should be a little bit taller, right? There's no way Jason Voorhees, he's supposed to be a tall, big guy, but he's not like huge like that. He's not jacked out of his mind. He's more like burly kind of. How the fuck is LeBron shorter than him? I understand that like you got to balance it or whatever, but uh, just proportions wise, I feel like he should be, if he is this tall, why is he so inflated? I mean, they're not going to be able to change that at this point. I get it. And I know some people are going to, you know, say, uh, you know, it's a stylized game. Oh, I'm very surprised that a stylized game has stylized characters. But you clearly see that he's very different from everybody else. And he's not depicted like this in the movies whatsoever. I'm just saying. Now, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to main Jason before this, but I'm going to have to actually get used to his looks before I can consistently play him. Because I already don't usually like playing playing like big brutish type of characters. I don't mind playing like tanky characters and stuff, but whenever they're built like in this very slow manner, real clumsy, I find it a little bit more difficult for me to enjoy. But I mean, hopefully Jason will be fun to play. I have no idea what his moveset could be like. I mean, Wonder Woman has a sword. Arya Stark has Needle, her sword. So it's not like he's the first character in the game with like some sort of a blade or something like that. So I assume he probably won't be as long range. But then again, he's got the wingspan of a fucking Boeing. So who knows how his reach is going to be. Uh, his powers overall, I mean, I'm thinking about it. I really reference back to the powers that they had him use in obviously the movies but also in Mortal Kombat X maybe he could buff himself to be like armored and be able to like attack through other people's attacks so he doesn't get interrupted or something for a short period of time or for one attack or something like that he could armor through things Mortal Kombat for example you could technically kill Jason and if you had the correct variant of him on forget what they called him in Mortal Kombat X but you could pick like three different uh versions of the character that have uh some specific different moves one of them he could get reduced to zero HP and quote die and then he will literally just like lay there dead for a moment and then just sit back up just like in the movies like a little horror theme play and he just gets back up with like half hp or something like that maybe he could have some sort of thing like that where he's really tough he's durable he's able to do a whole lot of damage but maybe his range sucks obviously joker he's going to be seen as more of like a mage type of character uh, i definitely could play him he definitely seems interesting to me and i do like his design and it's a lot more close to the actual design of the actual joker jason just feels like he stands out so much there's no reason that he should be this this wide I don't get it the only other character in the game that's bigger than him is obviously Iron Giant and any other future character that they could add in there he's supposed to be big but it is what it is man F I mean oh, come on so yeah let me know down in the comment section what you guys think uh feel free to make fun of Jason I guess I'm definitely gonna play him day one I'm gonna definitely give him a shot I already know how the majority of the roster you know plays and stuff like that what I do and I don't like even if bugs is nerfed and stuff like that I still played him post one of the nerfs or two of the nerfs at least there's also the other thing of like how do these characters interact with each other as 2v2 versus 1v1 like Bugs Bunny uh since he controlled so much of the screen was very very useful in uh 2v2 and he's not as strong in 1v1 still strong still doable you can win 1v1s and 2v2s with any character in the game don't get me wrong but certain characters excel a little bit more 1v1 or excel a little bit more 2v2 Batman for example being a very strong 1v1 character I'm very curious what Jason is good at I I'd imagine he's good at 1v1 but I mean who knows Jason has taken on multiple people all at once in all of the movies and stuff as as well so i mean superman tends to do it all he can do both maybe jason can do both but i can't imagine jason himself would provide too much utility to his team or anything like that i imagine everything that he does is selfishly just for him kind of similar to batman which is fine i mean if you're knocking people out of the stage whether you're helping your teammate or not knocking them off the stage is helping your team period i have no idea what the agent is gonna do probably gonna have like a bunch of dodge moves is he gonna actually shoot a gun or what we got lasers and stuff like that we're throwing anvils and other shit at each other but does anyone have a gun yet? Banana Guard, kind of a joke character, but I feel like Banana Guard is just gonna be really solid just by looking at them for whatever reason. I feel like a character with like this polearm kind of uh, spear kind of situation, he can just be really, really annoying and really well-rounded for some reason in my mind. That's how I'm imagining Banana Guard to play very well-rounded. Jason, I feel like is just going to be like a big, dumb, slow ball of stats. Hard to knock out 
hard to kill, probably doesn't have very good recovery skills. His mobility is probably shitty, but he does a ton of damage and he's very tanky. Kind of like Iron Giant, but he's smaller. So yeah, maybe he could play closer to Garnet. Garnet has like some shieldy type of shit. D definitely gonna be a bruiser type of build, right? So Garnet might be in a similar realm. I'm just talking at this point. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.